everybody. Hey, do you have book guts and want to make some fun things from them? Well, I just got very inspired by a very nice lady who has a YouTube video on using up book pages quickly. And her name is Cindy Burkhalter, Books by Burke. And I'm going to link the video below because she completely inspired me this morning. Thank you, Cindy. Um, I, I, I just think this is such a cool idea. Now, let's just make them. Okay, so we're going to make journal cards just from book guts and and a couple other things okay let's let's be real um and i'm also if i have time i'm going to show you what i think is her way and then i'm going to just do it some other ways too just for fun so we can so we can all keep growing and blossoming and things like that okay so here are some really okay sorry really cool gothic text i believe this is a german book very old book i don't even want to look how well because you're going to cry when you hear me tearing out pages. Um, do I still have the, the date on it? Uh, eight, 1879? Don't look. I might, I might, I might tear it up. Okay. Just don't look. Okay. Don't look. All right. I haven't done it yet. I've got heartthrobs. Remember we used that book to, um, like did like 13 part, actually me creating a journal from scratch. Uh, actually using the cover of this book, but every single step of the way. So if you really want to see every single step of the way slowly, check out the Heartthrob series. Uh, here's just a book, more of a modern day book, but this is great filler paper. And if you, maybe you use the cover to make a journal and then you've got all these wonderful, beautiful book pages and you don't know what to do with them. Awesome idea. Thanks to Cindy. Uh, and there, here I'm adding some uh, journal pages and also some stationery that I bought. I think I got this on AliExpress somewhere. And then I got this from other journals. I know, I know. What is a journal maker buying other journals? Um, thrift store purchases, what can I say? But they have the lines on them. So if you don't have a lined stamp, you don't need a lined stamp because all you need is lined paper and you've got lines. I mean, it's, it's that easy, it really is. Uh, so let's do this, okay. This is the fly leaf paper or the end paper, which is, uh, let me see if you can see it. I'm going to take you super close. See how it has little hairs or something in it? It's different than the other paper. It's usually a uh, different quality of paper. Sometimes it's a finer paper um, uh, or just it can be a thinner paper or a thicker paper than your book. But either way, we're going to just remove this. <laughs> okay, that wasn't so hard. All right. I was making that sound worse than it was. Okay, so now, oh, it's actually a oh, Daniel Steele book. Thank you, Daniel Steele. Uh, didn't read the book, but um, I loved your cover. <laughs> okay, well, we could have made a bookmark out of that, but apparently not today. I'm just taking this off because it's just going to be easier to tear the pages out. All right. So basically, you can use the inside filler pages from a book that maybe is not as intriguing to you for some reason. Maybe it's a newer book. Maybe it's not the right color. Maybe whatever. It's just going to be on the inside so nobody's going to see those pages. So maybe I'm, I don't know how many I'm going to use. Maybe I don't know. I'm going to pull off. Let's see. What is this? One, two, three, four. I'll pull off four. Feels thick already because this book is very thick. This book's going to need some help. Oops. Gone cockeyed. Trying to follow the theme. Already off in the woods. Yep. That's how it goes. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to worry too much about the straightness of this because we're going we're gonna to do some cutting. We're going to do some cutting. Okay, so now we can go ahead and, if I am remembering this correctly from dear Cindy's video, she basically just glued some of the pages together, which is brilliant, and I love that concept, and I use that concept for many things. If you don't have something that's thick enough, you just, you just get in there and glue some pages together. Okay, so I left my glue open. I'm going to take my craft knife and slice the top off and see if I can salvage my glue because I have a bad habit of that. Okay, so this is just gingerly. There's that word again. Okay, this one is copyright 2001, but nobody's going to see this. It's going to be deep inside. Deep inside. Okay, three. Um, I don't even know if this might even be too thick. Maybe I only need three on the inside because I'm going to put a page on the outside and um, I, I'm going to put one page on the outside front, one page on the outside back. How many do I have in there? I think I had four. One, two, three, four. Okay, I've got four. It already feels like it's plenty thick. You know what I mean? Let me just whittle it down to three. I think I'm going to whittle it. You're going to be used for something else. No, you're not going to be wasted. Don't worry. Okay, so let's pretend 
this is the back. So I'm just going to come along here and I'm going to put this on here. This is a page from a junk journal. No, no, not a junk journal. It's a regular, a regular journal journal. You know those journal journals that everybody has somewhere? They're great gifts, by the way. Um, like you ever, don't know what to get somebody. And let's say you're not going to make them a whole journal. It's not that kind of person. You know what I mean? Um, although they could be, they just don't know it yet. Um, get them a journal. You know what I mean? That, and, and leave it up to them. I, I do that sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> when I don't know what to get if I get him a journal. Oh, I guess it was in my blood a long time ago. Okay, so these I'm not using now. So on the front, I wanted to, and there's nothing wrong with using this. I mean, this is kind of pretty and cool too, right? But I wanted to use some of the German uh, page. So here we go. Here, we're taking the very old historic German book, and Pam will now destroy it before your eyes. Don't, if you have to look away, it's okay. And I want you to know that I will make the sausage for you, okay? You don't have to look. I'm going to look for a page that has lots of text. I like that. And um, this is very beautiful. Okay, yeah, you're going to come apart now. And don't cry. Ah! Ah! Okay, mop, mop up the blood. Mop up. No, there's no blood. It's okay. It's okay. All right, don't look. I've had that book for a long time, too, and... Um, I sometimes use it as a like a stage prop in like if I'm taking a thumbnail and I want some pretty old books, I do that. Um, anyway, so I'm going to glue this to the front. Same method, nothing fancy here. Okay. And slap this one down. Take the side I want. Okay. And I think she used a template to cut out her journal tag. Um, but I'm going to use the wing it method. Let me come closer. And because I don't, I don't, I don't want, I don't have, and I don't want, I don't really want to use a template. Um, templates are handy and good and they make a lot of sense. Don't get me wrong. I'm not anti-template. Um, I've templated with the best of them. Okay. I have. Um, I just find it easier sometimes just to do it. Okay. There we go. Get that up. Nope. Not quite. Okay, my little knife is getting duller. It's all right. It's okay. Are we going to make a big journal card? Why do I make a big Okay, look, let's look at the back. Let's try and pick it up with these nails and see. Okay, there's lines. Everywhere. We're going to be fine. Um, so I can go all the way over here just to where the text is uh, peeping through. So I make sure that I have full text everywhere. Um, and, and that's just a style choice. That's, it, you could use anything. You could use scrapbook paper, magazine ads. Um, whatever you like, whatever you like, anything pretty, some old photographs, you could do that. That would be cool. If you want to make a family journal, something like that, well, a photograph on one side and then a story about the person on the other side, that would be fun, wouldn't it? And, um, okay, right there. And, okay, so here is how I get my, um, tags to have even ears. I call them ears. I don't know. I kind of fold it. Not crease fold, but just gentle fold. And I cut. Oh my God, they're exactly even. Look at that, how that happened. I know, right? No special tool required. Let me back up a little kind of close in your face there. Um, let me tilt down a little too and turn this light on. Do you have not enough this light on? Why not? Okay, you do now. It's okay. Um, there we go. We have a big, beautiful tag. And now it's not completely attached all the way around. I think what I'm going to do is sew it all the way around. Oh my God, my sewing machine is like way behind everything. Okay, I'm going to kind of try and take you... Okay, this is reality. Just just take a look at what on earth is going on here. Okay, sewing machine is like way back there. Okay, over here. Okay, I'm going to try and sew. I know, I know every seamstress right now. Is that still the right word? Or is that like, do you have to say sew us now? Or I don't know. I'll probably be using the wrong word, but... Um, I have a bunch of stuff that I'm using. I'm, I'm creating, I'm decorating the gut, the inside of a journal, and I have a lot of stuff there. So that's what that is. There's my glue caddy. Okay. I don't even know if there's room to do this. We're just going to try. Okay. I think I'd like a zigzag. I'm going to turn on my machine. This is breaking every sewing rule known to mankind. You should not have anything around you. Whoa. Hello. Oh, yeah. Okay. I guess I can't move that. Okay. This is, yeah. Nope. Okay. Just stay there. We're going to sew right there. Okay. Put the tail back there. Get in there. You got a zigzag? I got a zigzag. Make it wider. Okay, I'll make it a three. Okay, here, put it down. Put it down. It's okay. Are you sure? Yeah, I am. Okay, go ahead. So, okay, I'm sewing, and this is going to magically adhere all the edges so I don't have to sit there 
for an hour gluing them together. Now, you can totally glue these together. You don't have to do it this way, okay? If you don't have a sewing machine, you are not dead in the water. You are not lost in the woods. You have mighty glue. If you have washi tape, you can washi tape the edges together. You have ways of doing things that are just dang amazing. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna curl this up, it's not too, it's, uh, it's bigger than the area, but because it's kind of softy moosh, it's okay, I can turn the corner. Okay, corner, turn. All right, yeah, this was, okay. Okay, there we go. And then we're turning. We're turning again. We're coming down the home stretch. We're almost there until I show you the next fantastical way of, I see that's my word apparently for September, but fantastical. Um, oh, by the way, it's the name of the free gift for the, uh, if you buy a fundle, which is a collection of very old and interesting, unique papers. Some are vintage, some are antique, and some are just darn plain interesting for junk journals. 101 pieces, you get a free digi kit, which is a five page printed out on lightweight cardstock. Fantastical Victorian Times, which will never be available for sale in my Etsy shop. The grand takeaway of it all. Oh, uh, this little marketing thing there. Yes, okay, here we go. Oh, I like this a lot. Okay, all right. Now, come back over here. Okay, don't be seasick. Don't be seasick, don't be seasick. Okay, did you make it? I hope so. Okay, so cool, right? I mean, nice thickness. So what did I have? Three pages in the center. And these were thicker pages. Danielle Steele, thank you. Um, this page on top, thin. But because you're adhering it to something, you don't have to put all your German pages together. You can you use the pretty Gothic print, maybe just on the front. And then you've got lined papers on the back. Aren't these cool? These are really cool. Okay, so that aside, same concept but we're gonna create something different. All right, let's do that. Let's get our little pages ready. Whoop, got some extra pages here. Let's use what we have, Pam. Don't be, uh, don't be throwing tither. Okay, I, I like to keep this unique flyleaf page because I might do something special with that at some other time, I don't know. But this is just paper. We're just basically gluing paper together. What do we want? Three pages, right? Give me my glue. We're going into the leap of faith of whatnot. Here we go to a, a good case of whatnot. Okay, gluing that together. They come out of the same book. They kind of naturally fit together nicely. Um, no glue here. I know, I know, right? I know. Okay, so third page, just hold it here. Okay, and now what? A, the German page? Or should we do a page from the heart throbs? Here's heart throbs. That's kind of cool. Oh, that's neat. These index pages. I'm a big fan of index pages because when you see it you're like oh what was this book about what, what are they referring to can I tell what it was about and I don't know I just find that completely fascinating um, and it gets people in the mode of wanting to explore wanting to find things wanting to see what's going on over there you know what? kind of that all right could I put a little look all the way up yeah I could just do that okay that's good and We'll put this on here. Okay. So we have three inners, one topper, and I don't really think I need a back because I'm going to mount this to a page. Now, if you want to have that, you could put one of these on the back, the line pages, but this thing I'm going to make is not going to have a back. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to leave it like that. Okay. So just a line. Okay. And then trim. Okay. So far, so good. We're rolling with it. We're rolling with it. And maybe I won't sew this one. So you, you have an option if you uh, don't have a sewing machine. Mm, but it would kind of, well, I'll, I'll explain it as we do it. It's so easy. Okay, so here we go. You can leave this white stuff there. You don't have to get rid of it. I just, I like the texty kind of look, so I'm just leaving that. Okay, so I'm going to grab some washi tape and we're going to washi tape this baby together. Yeah, yeah, that's what we're doing. We're, we're going down with the washi tape. Okay, we're going to use some fatter washi tape this time. We have this washi tape. Hello, fat washi tape. I'm going to give it the old, oh, what, okay, what I want to do, I want to create, um, a pocket 
So I want to pull this down. Now you could probably like do the turnaround and get this all to come out the directionally correct. I didn't do that, so I'm just going to move forward. Yeah, okay. As long as we understand that, where we are with each other on all this. I could actually pull this off a little bit. Oh, oh, got a little rip. That's okay. Let's see what's going to happen. Uh, maybe I'm going to tuck this down. That's okay. You can be tucked in there and you're going to be just fine. Maybe I'll just fold you over. Yeah, how about that? Then I got you on front and everybody's the right way. Ah, look at that. I was hoping for that, but that's not happening. Um, so... We'll just go ahead and glue it together with washi, which will be very cool. Um, let's do this one side. I'm going to run some Scotch Crate glue stick across it. It's a permanent glue stick. It's very strong. Um, so if you've been disappointed by your glue stick, as I have, I've tried a bajillion of them. And this one is just like super strong. If I don't need something super strong and I just need to attach quickly or something, I'll use an Amazon washable glue stick. Why? Because it's a lot cheaper. Um, but the, um, the, this one, like if you really want it to seal as best as a glue stick can. I mean, we, you know, glue sticks have limits. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, I need a straight top. So let me just get a straight top here. Am I, do you see me? I can't tell. Okay. All right, here we go. Something moved. Okay, you must stay still. Do not move. It's like I'm performing surgery. You must stay in the one place and go nowhere else. Oop, I should have went more north. Okay, let's go a little further north. A little further north up to the toppy. All right, there we go. We're good. And now, we're gonna trim. I'll, I'll get that in a second. I was gonna, I'm going to do one of these maneuvers so I know I get it all snug pants, you know? All right, not bad. Not bad. Not perfectly even, but, you know, not bad for a morning. <laughs> okay. Now this, I've got a little hangover here. Yes, yes, yes. I have a hangover. Okay, I'm going to trim that off so I, I no longer have a hangover because it's going to cause a little bump in my washi. And I don't want that little bump in me washi. No, no bump in me washi, please. Please excuse the horrible English accent. Um, so what part of England was that from? Is that a cock Cockney accent? I don't know. Do they still have Cockney accents? Or is that just something from Eliza Doolittle days and nobody really speaks like that anymore? You know, I really need to get educated on England because I would love to go there. I've never been to England and I'm going there. I just, you know, have to wait for all the restrictions and everything to go away. But once all that's gone... Cotswold, here I come, baby. Yep, you and me are walking the walk on the Cotswold Way. Apparently you can, like, walk and then stay at different inns along the way and enjoy the magical countryside of beautiful, um, beautifulness. And, and, oh, yeah, 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 one day, one day. That's my, my dream thing. Yep, my dream thing. Okay, here we go. But until then, we're playing with papers. <laughs> okay. All right. Here we go. All right. Oh, now what have we got ourselves? We got ourselves. Oh, oh, forgot about that. Yep. Nope. Can't be finishing there. Okay. So, like you can see, it, it is actually a little faster with the sewing machine. I know. I know. You think like, oh, it'd be so much easier just to tape it. You'd be done. You're out of there. Na -ta 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 -ta. No. 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 <laughs> maybe you're faster than me, so maybe that's that's that would be good. Okay. Here we go. A little bit on either side. It's going to be a little fatter in the back. That's okay because the back's going to be glued to something. And where are we? Oh, we're fine. Okay. Now, I have a little tear. What's that? Huh. My phone just gave me a funny little, a little thing. I don't know what that is. is this a, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a white dot there. What's that mean? I have no idea. I'm going to carry on. The timer's click going on. I'm going to assume everything is fine and pray. <laughs> okay. So instead of, I could put a sticker on here. I could do anything that would be cool, but um, it is behind, like it's the front wall. It's not right all the way through. I'm just going to, I'm going to amplify it. Instead of fighting it, I'm just going to amplify it and let everybody know I put a hole in it and I'm trying to make it look like it's on purpose. So maybe, maybe. I'm going to put some, some other little marks on here so it's like a little roughed up, you know what I mean? A little, you know, you got a little something going on here, like a, you know, maybe from a few, you know, centuries ago kind of look thing. 
and get some other daubers. You can always use up the ink on your daubers with stuff like this because it just, I don't know, it, you don't really have to think much about it. You just sort of go along and do it. And I, I'm sure there's ways you can add water to this, but I, I don't know. I'm just going to, there, okay, maybe a little in this corner. Yeah, okay, now we're talking. All right. And maybe, maybe I want to surprise something there. I could do a surprise something. I have surprised some things. I'm going to do this. This is very surprising. Nobody was expecting this. I'm going to pull out this stamp and I'm going to put it up here just to get a little something. You know what I mean? If there's a little something tucked in there, then it, it, when you pull it out, you're going to see a little something. Yeah. You don't always have to see a little something, but you can, you know, I like that. That's very nice. Just very subtle. Um, okay, so, and, and now we could tuck something fun in it. Oh, you know what that would be great for? An old check. I have an old check from 1896. Isn't that cool? That's so cool. Um, what they, what they buy? Can we tell? Peter Farts? All right. What do you see? Okay, I'm just asking. All right. Anyway, it was for 1350. Was, was a lot of money back then. So, Peter Bartz. <laughs> there we go. There we go. All done to be placed into a junk journal. Okay, so where's my junk journal? Where's my junk journal? No, no. You were right here. You cannot have gone far. You cannot. Here you are. Oh, you're starting to, you're, you're starting to bow already? Look at you. I haven't even begun with you yet. Oh, you're going to be a chunky monkey. Well, I like, I like this a lot. I want to put this in here. Oh, that looks really pretty right there, doesn't it? I really like that. Okay, I'm putting that in there. And, uh, and what I was saying about gluing it down, see, I don't have to make the back pretty because I'm going to glue it down. So same concept, same basic concept, using multiple pages together, which is an awesome concept. You can use it for so many different things. I think I've done that with bookmarks and things like that before. Or if you want to make a cover fatter, throw some book pages in there. Yeah, just give it a little clout. You know what I mean? It gives you a little gravitas, a little bit of um, oomph. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, there we go. There we go. Hey, you're all in there. Like. Very nice, very nice. Okay, closing you up. I will be with you later. We'll have a rendezvous, you and me, you little junk journal you. Um, so we have this, and we have that. And then, um, time is, we've got more time. We can make something else. Let's make something else. Okay, so let's try. We have one, two, three. Okay, so let's try something different. Let's try. Let's just, let's, just, uh, let's make some belly bands. Um, and let's just maybe, I think these are going to be thick enough. I'm going to take a book page and fold it up. And we're going to call it a belly band. That's what we're going to do. And, and, we're not done there yet. No, we're not. Um, I'm going to take another one of these and maybe, maybe I'm going to make it a little smaller. I like the torn look. You know, I like the torn look. I do. I do. And it's easy. Uh, if you get one of these metal rulers, they always have nice sharp edges. They'll, they, I mean, rarely wear down. Like plastic, I think a plastic one will wear down faster. Okay, so now what I want to do is make this one skinnier than the one. So we're going to make a layered belly band. Yeah, with book pages. Now, I know you're thinking, but Pam, that's the same book page as, as uh, on that. No, no, because I'm going to come in with one of those German book pages. Here I come. Yeah, I am. I'm going to just... Is that some nice page? That's very nice. We'll use the back of this one. Okay. Did you, you don't have to look at that part. Look away, look away. Okay, are you back? Whoa, drop the book. Okay, the book's mad at me now. It's like, what are you have been holding together for like hundreds of years and you're tearing me? I know, I know. Um, but I'm glad you're getting me out there because now other people can enjoy me and they may have never seen gothic text. It is gothic text, right? I just call it that because I think it is. Let's look at it again. Is that gothic text? Looks, oh, Canada. Look at that. Canada. Oh, yeah, what do you know? Looks gothic to me. It's going down as gothic in my book. 
Okay, so I'm just going to wrap this. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So I need a smaller piece. Well, I need the pieces as big as this, right? That's right. Actually, I only need the top. Oh, you know what I could do? I could just take a strip of it. Or I could take a strip of ledger. That would be cool, too. Yep, that would be cool. Maybe I'll do that. Okay. Oh, there's nice writing on there. Look at that. That's nice old writing. Let me just take a strip. All right. Different ways that you can use stuff. It's fun. All right, so we put, we can put that there. Oh, that looks different. That looks different than that. And that could actually be a double. Or it could be, you could glue the whole thing together to have it in one big fat single. But I think I might do a double. I'm just feeling very doubly today. All right, so let's glue this. We're going to use, what are we going to use? A fabric fix? No, we're going to use fabric fix, please. No, this is glue stick land. This is total glue stick land. Okay. All right, glue stick, get you down there. It's nice to have the bone folder at this moment. You know, like I said, if you had to invest in one tool, get yourself like a four, five, seven dollar bone folder. I mean, a real one. You know, you can get the, it's okay, get the plastic if you want to get the plastic. But um, you remember way back when, when they used to make books, I mean, they would use everything. And there were a bunch of bones sitting around after they all had a snack on the, uh, the what would they eat, the great, pork wildebeest or whatever they snacked on. Um, I watch a lot of medieval shows and uh, Viking shows and stuff like that. Can you tell? And uh, do we want to round the top? Maybe, huh? Yeah. Okay. Let's do that. All right. Here we go. Okie dokie. Hokey pokey smokey. All right. Here we go. Rounding. And I'm going to glue this one. Yeah, so don't worry if you end up with a bunch of book innards because you're gonna you're gonna have great. Whoop, no, wrong way, wrong way. No, actually, you go this way. It's okay. Um, you're gonna have great uses for them. Just, there's so many wondrous, wondrous. I tell you, super wondrous ways to use book pages. Um, I'm looking for my vintage photo, brown, I would like the brown, please, today. This is vintage photo. It's a very popular one that many of us use or have in our, our, um, all right, I want to show some, you something shameful. Hold on. Okay. I primarily use brown, black, what, what is that? I primarily, primarily use brown, black, blue, pink, green. Yeah, and then occasionally some other colors when I think about it. This is what I, okay. This is absolutely unnecessary. Okay, see that? Yeah. You know how you get excited? You know? And then you got to have a bunch? Yeah, yeah. It's not necessary. No. Do you know how often I go in here? Like, um... Once a year, you know, it's really, so yeah, you don't need a lot of ink. Just get some favorites. You can get some at um, Tuesday, sorry, sickness, sorry, sickness. Uh, Tuesday morning, you can get them um, where I used to originally buy them because um, I didn't have like tons of money to spend on the, the brand new ones. I would buy people's old ones because I knew, <laughs> I knew that um, a lot of them were just dry. They weren't really devoid of ink. And if you could wake them up with a little spritz of water, or a little spritz of water and glycerin, you could be going strong for quite a while. And you can buy like grab bags of these things on eBay, used uh, crafter ink stuff. Um, like people get out of the crafting, you know, they're like, ah, oh, just, uh, you know, or um, uh, that kind of thing. And, uh, or they go into a different craft and they want to release some of their stuff, but it's still perfectly good stuff. I mean, if, it is a gamble, it is a risk, but boy, can you save yourself um, a ton, especially if you're just gathering your things, you know? Um, and also don't forget other options. Um, makeup, um, shoe polish for brown, foundations for brown, eyeshadows for brown. I mean, use what you got. Use what you got. That looks kind of cool, doesn't it? Now I'm liking it just as it is. And I, I feel like I don't want to go in here and monkey with it. Do I still want to? 
Yeah, I'll, I'll put you there. Oh, it's all right. It's okay. We'll go. We'll do it. We're going in. Here we go. Um, yeah. So old book pages, new book pages, always more ideas, loving being inspired by people. And um, you know what it is, is sometimes um, I'm, I'm making stuff and doing stuff and all this kind of stuff, and I don't really have enough time left to look at other people's videos. And I realize, hey, Sister Sally, you're missing out because there's some beautiful stuff out there and people are running wild with so many ideas. And, you know, everybody is a launching pad, you know? And I'm a big believer of the blue ocean strategy where um, you don't have to worry that somebody is going to take all your customers um, in business, the Blue Ocean Strategy. It's a book. It's been around for a long time. But basically, it's like the concept is there's enough for everybody. There's enough business for everybody. There's enough customers for everybody. And when you kind of wrap your head around that and you realize that every time another channel is, is showing how to make junk journals, do junk journals, um, that kind of stuff, that helps everybody because... There's so many people who still don't know about junk journals and so many people who have yet to make their first book. And the more that we can get the word out, inspire people, they get excited about it, they, they see the potential and the youth, it helps everyone. So it, it, it's a good feeling. It's a good feeling. So yeah, um, watch other people's videos, get inspired, um, uh, have a blast, spread the word that, hey, we're making books. I, I'm still surprised how many people don't know what a junk journal is. I, where are you living? Where, what rock are you living under? Oh, I just had a look. really cute idea. I thought it'd be so cute if I put a brad on the top and the bottom. Okay, hang on. Let me get it. Okay. I, I brought in a very expensive device. It's this. I'm going to use it to punch a hole. So let me glue where I want this to be first. And uh, so it doesn't run around, you know, another run around. And this will just keep everybody together. I'm getting very excited about this belly bend. I'm, I'm like feeling great joy about it right now. I know you can't see everything. I'm coming up. I'm coming up. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let me back you up. Back you up a little bit. Okay, there we go. Sometimes I'll lift my desk arm, the thing that, like the duck beak that holds my phone up and down. And sometimes I'll move my zoom on my camera. I know sometimes people wonder about that. So that was the zoom. This is me moving the desk arm. Okay, that's what that is. There you go. The mystery has been revealed. <laughs> okay. I just think that's really pretty. Um, let me bring you closer. You're too far away. Oh, you're way too close now. Can you be a happy crown? Okay, that's good. Um, let's make a hole. Uh, I have hole makers. I do. I have like little... Uh, the crocodile can make a little hole. But so, this... How, where did that... Here it is. Okay. This is a very small brad. This is its cousin. It's going to be at the other end. Now, you can actually take the brad, I think, and make the hole. Let's just try that. Maybe we don't need this fancy, expensive device from other lands. Let's just try it. And if it doesn't work, yeah, it's all on me. Okay, maybe not the best idea. The little legs are bending. Okay, so now we're going to retreat and get the very expensive piece to make the hole. And, uh, okay, so go through. Here we go. Okay, that was like so much easier. I w I'm through. Now I'm going to make it a little bigger to get those little chub feet through. Okay, I have that hole. Now you can buy the 1 16th punch if you want. If you don't, if you don't have one of those fancy devices. Let me show, show you. I think it's a 1 16th punch. If you've never seen this before, see the little tiny little hole puncher? Yeah, basically the same thing. But this thing will go through things that are a little bit thicker. So you, you, you got to give it that. You know, I, I couldn't even have nailed the, the center. You know? No. Okay. Here we go. Going through. Going through. And, hey, oh, uh, yeah. No. Okay. I am through, though. I don't know if you can. you see the light? I'm, I'm through. Um, see, it's so much easier. What was I doing trying to use the brad? Yeah, don't use the brad. Doesn't, no, 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 no. Okay, there we go. And is that big enough? I hope so. Let's find out. Okay, let's go back with initial brad of weak legs now. And we will try and do this. I rarely use brads. You know what? I forget I have them. I totally forget. Anybody else forget you have brads? Hello, we have brads. Brad? Okay. okay. Oh, right through. Right through. Legs and all. Spread them. <laughs> okay. Here you just spread them and forget them. Okay, that's pretty much you do with the brad. Okay? And then you come here, and it looks like you, you're some kind of, you know, blacksmith from 
you know, the 1200s because you're, you're working with metallic things and, and it just like, you're, you're a leather tooler at this point because they could be easily fooled if they see a brad in it. Come on, get through there. I'm going to try it again. Can you see? No, too far away. Okay, I'm going to take you closer. Pam, trying to get a brad through. Okay. Oh, right through, right through. Yeah, I was apparently not aiming well. Yep. And then just spread the little legs. Okay, there we go. It's all PG here, people. These are, this is innocent. <laughs> okay, don't get all, all fluffled on me. All right, back up. Yeah, okay. So let's put that in the journal. Like, why not, right? We are actively decorating a journal. Let's use what we're making. What a great concept, Pam. Have you ever thought about that as you've been making journals for now and stuff separately for four years to actually put what you make in the journal? Do you know how much faster you would finish a journal? Okay, let's put this in the back somewhere. Um, oh, that's a pretty page. Oh, I like that there. Remember we, made, we did this the other day? I like that. I like that. Oh, blue. That's going to go. Oh, yeah, baby. We found our home. Look at that. All I'm going to do is blue the top and the bottom, and that's it. I hope it fits. Let me make sure. Yep, we are north and south fitting. Okay, I'm just going to glue a little over that, glue a little over that. And then I'm going to put this here. That, oh, that's so pretty. I'm so happy I found that page. I, I had no idea I had that page there. And, and once that dries, I will come along and tuck something in there. And I have some really funny, fun things to tuck in here. Oh, I have a, I have a, this is a, a handmade postcard for Thanksgiving. That's an old Thanksgiving that's happening somewhere. I think it's at, um, outside of a hospital or something. It looks pretty cool. Okay, now if this was dry, I would take this and slip it in there. Now I also have that. And what, what are you going to do with that, Missy? I have, a, I have something. I, I spotted it earlier. Um, isn't she cool? I just love her, but that's just not her right place. I'm sorry. You must, you must wait for your turn. Yes, step aside. You will, you'll get your day. Don't worry. Oh, here, this thing. This little, I don't know, it's like a little ticket from 1939. Mont Phillips, 35 cents. Rental fee. Okay, receive from, oh, it looks like a train. It's some kind of train ticket. So Mont Phillips went somewhere for 35 cents. There you go. There you go. Dunsies. All right. That was awesome. Maybe I should put this in here then because I am working for completeness. I don't think I want to edge it. No, no, I don't think so. Uh, I think I'm just going to leave it as is. That was in the back. Oh, this would be nice. That's a nice. Oh, yes. I like that a lot. So now, do I have any fancy paper clips? No. I you guys are using all my paper clips up on me. How dare? How dare? Um, I do. I have something. <laughs> okay. I think, I don't know if you remember this, but we made these. Um, there's those little wooden paper clips, and I just glued a leaf sequin on it. Let's see if that works. Oh, my gosh, it works. Look at that. That's amazing. Okay. <laughs> so there you go, folks. I hope you had fun. Don't forget about the... Um, uh, free gift with purchase. If you buy a fundle, you get a free printed digi kit included. No coupon, no co uh, code needed automatically when you buy it from my Etsy shop in the month of September 2022. If you haven't signed up for my free monthly email newsletter, make sure you do because you get a free digi digital image, a checklist of supplies, a note from the bookmaker, which explains what a junk journal is and how to use it. Uh, and um, you want to see one in action? I just put the one in here. I'm just still creating this one, but see? Note from the bookmaker. There it is. What is this thing? It explains here. Um, and also what, what, what? Um, page ideas list. One idea, four different ways. In a junk journal, I have a little video series married to that list. So they're called, it's incorrect grammarly called never endless page ideas. Yeah. Playlist. There you go. Go to my channel, look for playlists, you'll find it. Um, my videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. My Etsy shop where um, when I have journals and bundles done, I put them in there, sometimes with a big fanfare, video, and social media splash. Sometimes I just sneak them in there. Um, so come on over and take a peek every once in a while. Um, I do have vintage digi kits, over 170 plus now. Um, basically, they're computer files that you buy from me, and then you can print out amazing pictures for your junk journals at home. There's all sorts of themes like birds and Victorian and celestial. I always say those three. And um, 
um, dragonflies, butterflies, um, winter themes, um, Thanksgiving, Christmas, holidays, all sorts of fun stuff. Come and check it out. Uh, I also sell fundals, which are collections of old and interesting papers. So if you like to um, actually feel what it feels like, um, see what it feels like to hold real old letters in your hand or real old um, antique ledger in your hand or some really cool vintage book pages, um, braille, music, dictionary, all sorts of things, 100 plus pieces. Um, don't forget, you get the free gift with that if you buy one of those. Um, also, I have an Amazon shop if you're looking for um, these tools and supplies. I will try to, I try to put links to everything that I use. If I can find them, I will put them there. I'm an affiliate. I also have a merchandise shop. If you like the phrase create with reckless abandon or everything is a craft supply until proven otherwise, if you have your maybe wanting to get yourself a little gift or for a friend or a loved one or fellow crafter or family member, I got you covered with t-shirts, sweatshirts, um, mugs, totes, zip toadies, water bottles, you got it. And you can find me on Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, and Facebook group. And snuff, snuff pants? Yes, mom? Am, am, am I up? Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm awakening myself from the depths of sleep. I was so comfortable. Oh, oh, okay, why don't you tell them how comfortable you are? Okay. Hi, everybody. Sunshine popping in here for a... Huh. I'm, I'm looking wide awake for some reason. Um, oh, I was so comfortable in my little Betty Bye, but nothing's better than coming in to say hi to you guys. Are you guys having fun out there? Are you having fun with your papers? Are you having fun with, with like, getting glue all over your hands and ink and tearing up papers and doing crazy things with papers? Yeah, yeah, that's like, um, I'm talking here, I'm talking to you, so I'm going to tell you a few things I'm going to go back to sleep now. I have a funny feeling I like to do this right before... Yep. I'm still awake, Mom. Can you see me? All right. Thank you very much, son. All right. Um, take care, everybody. Happy crafting. Okay. <laughs> that was uh, love and hugs from Sunshine. And big love and hugs to all of you out there. Uh, whether you have pets or not, it, you're all welcome here. And um, um, so what can else we say? We, we can say create with reckless abandon. Go forth and have some fun today, folks. Take care. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.